if the seven ACC schools successfully recruit one more school to dissolve their grant of rights, what happens with realignment? So let's check out some options. And this this is just a few of them. But this is always interesting to do, right? You start tackling, okay, which schools make sense in which conferences and how would you split this apart and who's the most likely, et cetera, et cetera, right? So first off, what is the likeliest eighth team to join and dissolve the grant of rights? Now, I've seen different reports on whether or not Notre Dame would count. The Irish are a full member in, uh, in AC, or excuse me, they're a full ACC member in everything but football. So maybe they count, but, it, but if it's not Notre Dame, then who is it, right? The remaining schools are Louisville, Pitt, Boston College, Duke, Georgia Tech, Syracuse, and Wake Forest. Now, would the Big Ten want to bring in Georgia Tech or Duke? Uh, the academics fit. Like, if they decide to become a 24-team league, maybe that works. Uh, but as I've said before, what, what is the point of diminishing returns? When do we reach that point uh, that bringing in another, another school to the Big Ten or the SEC starts to take money away from the schools already in the conference? If that were to happen, I don't imagine anybody in those leagues would be willing to sign off on it. Uh, but let's look at some fun options. You know, stuff that may not be the most likely, but could potentially be something that, if the money ends up working out, could happen. So let's say the ACC's Magnificent Seven, they don't actually want to split up. They just want more money. So they dissolve the ACC. They create a new conference. Let's say they keep Duke for the sake of, you know, that Duke, NC State, North Carolina, uh, you know, Carolina rivalry. Uh, that would make eight schools. So at that point, we're looking at Duke, North Carolina, and NC State. Virginia, Virginia Tech, and then Clemson, Florida State, and Miami. Now, those eight would need to bring in, you know, more schools for a new conference, uh, just for the additional content. As we've seen, of course, the Pac-12 is at 10 schools. Uh, they felt like they need two more schools, so they're going after San Diego State and SMU. Let's say that those ACC schools reach out to some Pac-12 schools. Remember, they don't have a TV deal right now. Oregon and Washington obviously want more money. But let's go ahead and bring in two more schools. That could get us up to 12. Uh, that could help make this make a little more sense. Most likely, you try and keep the in-state schools together, right? Oregon, Oregon State, Washington, Washington State. So if you've got a conference that can provide football matchups like Oregon and Clemson or Washington and Florida State, et cetera, how much more would that be worth? Like, could those schools then draw $45 million annually? Uh, right now, the Pac-12, uh, they don't even have a DV deal. Uh, ESPN pays $504 million annually to the ACC just in baseline contracts. So that's around $36 million per year. If you move to 12 schools, making $45 million per year, you're now looking at $540 million annually. So $36 million more than what ESPN currently pays. And by doing that, ESPN basically trims the fat. They now have more states for their ACC network. Uh, that would you know, change names to something like the PACC. Uh, when you're adding states like Oregon and Washington, you're also losing states, right? Like Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, et cetera. Uh, that's going to be tricky. If Oregon and Washington can leave Oregon State and Washington State, maybe Utah and Colorado make sense, or maybe Arizona, Arizona State make more sense for ESPN and their conference network. Like, could you imagine a basketball conference with Duke, North Carolina, Virginia, and Arizona as the big dogs? Like that, that would be all right. So what about the schools that are left over? Like, assuming that Notre Dame decides to join the Big Ten, uh, you've got Pitt, Boston College, Louisville, Georgia Tech, uh, Syracuse, and Wake Forest. You've likely got the foundations for uh, a pretty fun basketball conference, but you could also bring in the stronger leftover AAC schools, right? Your Memphis, USF, Tulane, and it may be East Carolina to stay in that Carolina region. Uh, either ECU or, or Temple up in Philadelphia, so you get back into Pennsylvania. Uh, you've got a, you know, you've got a fun ten-team league that should be competitive. Uh, that would be an upgrade for the AAC teams, and it would be a decent landing spot for the schools left by the dissolution of the ACC. Now, obviously, there's a ton of options that could be in play here, depending on what the Big Ten ends up doing. They've been interested in North Carolina for a long time. I mean, remember former Commissioner Jim Delaney? He's a North Carolina alum. Uh, could the Big Ten push to get Notre Dame and North Carolina together? Like, who, who knows at this point? Uh, but that appears to be one of the likeliest options if North Carolina can find a way to get out of that grant of rights. The SEC already has South Carolina and Florida. Like, what, what's the value of adding Clemson 
and Florida State for them. Like I, it would honestly make more sense for the SEC to add North Carolina and Virginia and the Big Ten to add Clemson and Florida State, but it doesn't feel right. Clemson and Florida State don't feel like Big Ten teams. Uh, but I guess the same way that Virginia doesn't feel like an SEC team. Or an SEC team, excuse me. Uh, d- tell me in the comments what you think should happen here in realignment roulette. I- I'm curious your thoughts on this. This is all over the place right now. These ACC spring meetings have uh, have really sparked a little bit. Uh, this summer could get very, very interesting. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.